In today's Leeds news, update on Robin Cox's future. Ryan Kent, Ilias Akumak and Kieran Tierney all linked with summer moves to Leeds. Update on Rodrigo's injury. Under 21's in action and Victor Orta's role under scrutiny. Scrutiny. Morning folks, Jay here at The View, 7th of March, and it's a bumper one, there's loads floating around today, so we're not going to hang around, we'll just bull straight into it. Let's start off with um, rumours and information, and a lot of this is still rumour or you know unconfirmed reports until it is, it is confirmed. So uh, according to German outlet Sport1, they have claimed that Robin Koch is considering his next move in football beyond Leeds. They also state that Newcastle are one of a handful of English clubs who are interested in bringing the 26-year-old German defender into their club. Cox contract runs out with Leeds at the end of the, well, the summer of 2024, and Leeds will need to look at this summer coming as a, either an opportunity to extend his contract and lock him down, or sell him because you're moving into you know free contract territories after that. Um, and Leeds probably should be looking at getting cock lockdown longer term contract 26 years of age he's a good age for a centre back he's starting to find his form at Leeds he's really starting to look at the player we bought and we saw probably in the first season it, at times as a lovely partnership coming together with Max Volber as well so you want to stay, see that stay there so fingers crossed they can get that locked down it is still unconfirmed reports it is from one outlet Sport 1 haven't seen it from, from any other real credible places but uh, conversations apparently he hasn't signed a new deal Leeds haven't put one in front of him from what we can hear so far that could be wrong. Maybe Leeds have offered him a new deal, but you would hope that that contract situation gets sorted out before the end of this season. So, so let's move on and talk about the 21s. They had a fantastic 3-0 win against Derby County last night. Goals from Sam Greenwood, Joe Snowden and Sonny Perkins giving Leeds a 3-0 win. Great to see Joe Snowden scoring again. I really like what I've seen of Joe Snowden. I think he's going to be a cracking player for Leeds. Fingers crossed on him. Sonny Perkins was, was uh, talked about in multiple places has been a standout on the day. So it's great to see that from him as well. And before we move on to anything else, let's just talk about the news of the season ticket prices have been announced a 10% increase across the board on all season tickets. And um, Leeds have said that there will be a rebate in place should Leeds go down. There's a lot of uproar about this. And I understand that people are struggling for money and, and this situation, but there is a, 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 a logical statement to say, well, all of our household bills have gone up because of the, the cost of living crisis. But, so the clubs, electricity bills and everything like that have gone through the roof for football teams as well. So they've got to look after themselves as well. But it's nice to see that there is that 10% rebate should leads go down. So at least they're planning for that. Um, but move on. Uh, moving into rumour mill territory. So we are uh, <laughs> approaching pinch of salt. Some of these deals are reported to be done. Some of them, not so much. So we'll start off with, we managed to avoid this during the January transfer window, but it, it's coming back up now. Ryan Kent, that's the man. According to Football Insider, so pinch of salt territory here. Leeds are in contact with Ryan Kent's uh, agent and his people around the summer move. Kent's contract expires at the end of this season, so Leeds are in a position to negotiate a contract with him right now. He would move to Ellen Road on a free transfer if all was agreed. Uh, Burnley are also said to be interested in bringing Kent in as well. So Kent's popped up for a long time. Bielsa was a big admirer of him. I'm not as big an admirer of him. I watch a lot of Scottish football. I watch a lot of Celtic, and I've seen... The only benchmark for me is playing Celtic can does Ryan Kent up his game against the bigger sides in Scotland and, I, and I've yet to see anything against Celtic that would, would I would consider to be a top player I think there's better players at Rangers and I think there's better players at Celtic than Ryan Kent but it's a free transfer you bulk up the squad a little bit and he has a bit of experience so moving on Ilias Akumak we, we talked about this guy last week that Leeds were keeping a nine but according to El Chingrito it's not easy. Uh, the Barcelona youngster, Akumak, has reached an agreement with Leeds. The Moroccan-born uh, winger deal with Barcelona ends at the end of this season. And according to this publication, Ilian Akumak, Barca Athletic winger, has agreed a deal with Leeds United for next season. And it would also be another free transfer. He's, he's rated quite highly as a youngster. He has had some first-team games. Um, it would be an interesting player to bring in. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Moving on, Karen Tierney, and according to Ekram Kanoor on Twitter, Leeds are one of a host of clubs that include Palace, Brighton, Fulham, and Newcastle in trying to bring the Arsenal left back into their clubs. Uh, he's 25 years of age. He's a really, really good left back, Karen Tierney. He's obviously Arsenal are uh, adding more players to the defence and changing their, their, their setup a little bit. Tierney would be a fantastic player if we could get him in, but there's a lot of uh, 
good competition there and teams that are slightly ahead of us. Again, all of this will depend on where Leeds are next season. That really will. And that's that. And um, moving on, let's talk about the injury stuff. And according to Phil Hay on Twitter, uh, Leeds are hopeful, or Rodrigo is hopeful, that he might actually be back in contention to play this weekend. If it's not this weekend, fingers crossed for the following weekend. But they did say that he, he was ahead of schedule and they're hoping to have him back before the international break. Leeds have two games before the international break and then the break and then Arsenal. It would be nice to get Rodrigo back in now, get him moving and get him ready for the bigger games and the run in April being a massive month for Leeds and our, and our survival hopes. So there's that. Fingers crossed on Rodrigo. Move on. Let's talk about the main story today. And this has come out from a few places, but we'll start off with, and according to a report from iNews, they claim that due to what's gone on at Leeds over the last 12 to 18 months, Victor Orta's position at Leeds is under heavy scrutiny. Uh, according to the update, Orta will be in the firing line if Leeds drop out of the Premier League this season into the Championship. They've claimed that due to his support of Jesse Marsh and the decision to turn to him after the sacking of Bielsa, this has put his position in doubt. They also go on to say that it's also claimed that there are some suggestions about disagreements back behind the scenes and the process to hire Marsh's replacement and what went on in that situation has also put him under pressure. They said that there is um, the bigger money moves that he has done and the bigger money deals that he has done um, that haven't worked out is one of the main reasons why there's scrutiny on him and not just him on a scouting network that he put in place six years ago. Um, it doesn't say, however, what would happen if Leeds stay in the Premier League or stay up, and it doesn't say how the 49ers feel about this, but you would, it would kind of goes without saying, if Leeds do get relegated, then the signings that we've made haven't worked. The director of football's position hasn't worked. It's the same as the manager's position for me. If, if one doesn't work, the other one's kind of, you know, in the fire line as well. So um, it's an interesting position. There has been a lot of rumour about disagreements and shouting matches and, and arguments behind the scenes. There was talk about you know, himself and Bielsa had a lot of arguments behind the scenes towards the back end of their time together. Um, and with all the stuff there, you're looking at the the fact that it's been mentioned, the process around hiring the new Leeds manager, the big name signings, and the fact that Leeds find themselves where they are, and the backing of Jesse Marsh, or the, the decision to hire Jesse Marsh in the first place, all of that coming together has put Victor Orta's position under heavy scrutiny. Um, because it's all within an 18 month period, so it's pretty, pretty compact. So it'll be interesting to see what happens, folks. But that's that's going to be loads in there today. So look, let me know how you feel about the signings. Akimak looks like an exciting young player. One report saying it's done. Hasn't come out from any major other outlets. Ryan Kent's people in talk. But obviously there's Burnley there. If we drop out and Burnley come up, obviously you probably go with Burnley, but you'll wait and see. And good news on Rodrigo's injury. Fingers crossed that is good news for us this week and could definitely do with him back. And that's going to be it for me, folks. Thanks as always for watching. Um, and I will see you tomorrow morning for more Leeds news. See you then. Have a good day. Bye.